Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm sitting at the park right now and my car is dead. Well, it's not absolutely dead, but it's just not cranking. Can't get a start, it's not cranking. Uh, I was at the park and uh, it's been about an hour jogging. Hour and a half jogging, came back and my car's not starting. Um, I will say that uh, this is not my first time having this issue. I've been having this issue sporadically for like the last couple months. But lately, it's been... I'd have to try uh, more than usual to uh, turn on. I'd have to try to start it a couple of times. I mean, last, uh, last week, I had to try to start this car... Um, I'd say like seven times before it, it turned over, and then it worked fine afterwards. But uh, right now it's just totally dead. Well, not totally dead. I mean, it just won't won't, won't start like before. But I mean, I've tried about twenty times now to uh, to to try to start up, and uh, it's not it's not starting at all. I've only been out for like an hour and thirty minutes. Parked my car an hour and thirty minutes. So um, I don't. I'm pretty sure I didn't need the lights on checked and need the lights on uh even i think an hour and 30 minutes um that's not gonna kill the battery to the point where it won't start you know, turn over so um but i mean that was the first thing that popped up dead battery maybe it's weak maybe it's um you know whatever but i went out turned the headlights on and just uh checked to see how bright the headlights were and the headlights were uh pretty bright so I'm like, nah, it's probably not the battery, but I don't know 100% if that's the case. I didn't know 100% if that was the case. So, um, I mean, it took me about like five, six minutes to get somebody to help me out, jump the car. And uh, funny enough, there was somebody there who was just hanging around in his car. And I'm like, hey, uh, could you help me jump my car? Got cables and... Um, had the cables on the battery for I said a good five minutes not five minutes I'd say like two minutes head on for two minutes but that was that would be good enough I mean I mean uh if if you know I mean for it would be good enough all right I would I would at least hear like a slow crank if uh, it was the battery that was the issue but I didn't uh, I didn't hear anything I tried it a couple of times turn on didn't uh, didn't hear anything but a click which I was hearing before you know hooking up the battery hooking up the uh, cables to the battery jumping it so I, I, at, that, at that moment I knew I was in for a bigger issue than just a battery issue terminals or whatever I mean my terminals are 100% clean so um, you know I, I always make sure to check, check the terminals to make sure if they're 100% if they're clean if uh, I'm been having these issues but um, my, my terminals were pretty clean so it's not the battery. So I'm like, it's not it's not the uh, battery. Could it be the alternator? <clears throat> and uh, just by uh, just by thinking about it, it couldn't be the alternator because um, this car wasn't running uh, when it decided not to start. And uh, even in previous situations, the, the, the car wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't running, uh, you know, when I, when I try to, you know, it wasn't running with the issues that I had. Normally, with uh, alternator issues, uh, you would have alternator uh, a bad alternator if the if the car died out on you while you were driving. I mean, it could be other things, but normally, um, alternator issues that's you know, you know, it happens with the engine running, and th th and uh, this, this engine was not running at all. So, um, I know, and also, um, you know. I'm 100% sure of it because I actually, uh, if, if you hook up cables to the battery and if, if it, the alternator was dead because of, uh, and you can't start it and it's because of the alternator, hook up hook up cables to the battery and you turn the car on, it should just crank right up. It should just crank right up. And uh, once you take the cables off, the car would just die out and you know 100% sure uh, that it was um, that it was the alternator that was uh, the problem. Okay. So it's not the alternator. 100% sure it's not the alternator. 100% sure it's not the battery either. So, so what next? What I do next? So I was thinking, 
What else? It could be either a relay or a blown fuse, right? A relay or a blown fuse. Now, I don't have anything to test out the relay or the fuse on this car. I mean, it would be pretty easy to test out the fuses. Um, the, the relay, not as easy, but I'm going to say it's not the relay. It's not, it's not the starter relay. It's not the fuel pump relay. It's not the starter relay and definitely not the fuel pump relay. It's not the starter relay. Um, I know it's not the starter relay because I hear a, a click. I hear a click. You hear a click. Every time you try to start it, you hear a click. I mean, it gets faint, you know, the more you do it because, you know, the battery gets drained. But you do hear a click. So, I mean, the relay relays electricity from, uh, you know, the battery to the starter. It relays electricity to the starter. And because you're hearing that click, it means that the solenoid is firing off. It's just that the engine is not, the engine is just not turning over. It's not, it's not cranking up. It's not running. So <clears throat> at that point, I know it's not the relay. I mean, I can't say I'm a hundred percent sure it's not the relay, but I'm going to say uh, to a good certainty that is not the relay. Like 90% sure it's not the relay. I'd have to test out to me. You know, to uh, to to make that a hundred percent, but ninety percent sure it's not the relay. So what else? Um, what else did I test out? I'm thinking, could it be a fuse? Maybe it could be a fuse, but but all the times that I've had issues with fuses, uh, with this car, well, not this car, but I mean, with cars that I've had previously. So here's the thing about it: twice. <clears throat> I had fuse issues and and it affecting my car starting up, not not being able to start up. So I'm like, first first issue with the fuse that I had was, you know, um, it would crank. Everything works. It would crank, but it won't turn over. It would crank. It won't turn over. It would crank up. It won't turn over. <sighs> but that's not the that's not the issue here because. This, this car won't crank at all. It's not cranking at all. So that's not part of that fuse. That's not that's not that particular fuse problem that I had before. Okay. Rule that out. The second fuse no start issue that I had was um was uh okay, it was a main fuse that was blown. <clears throat> okay. Um I, I drove it around and uh Parked it, had my car on, and my car just died out immediately. Thought it was an alternator to begin with, but uh, after doing some testing, I uh, found out that it was a main fuse that was blown. <clears throat> um, and uh, had that, and, and I, you know, it, and that was the case because everything just, you know, nothing worked in the car. Like, like as if the cables were taking off the battery, nothing worked in the car. So, so. That was a situation where um, the main fuse that was blown on the car, but that's not the issue here. That's not the issue here because, you know, I get lights on the dash, low motor works, everything works on the car, so not a problem here. Now, now obviously, my last, the last thing, well, not exactly the last thing, but the last obvious thing that could cause this is the starter. It's, it's probably the first obvious thing. Well, not the first. Battery would be the first. Well, okay. Not the first obvious thing, but it, the most. The, it's an obvious thing. The starter. Now, I didn't think it would be the starter that 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 was that would be the issue. And uh, I'm doing this video while I'm, I'm waiting for the triple uh, triple A to tow my car. And uh, I called them up about 30 minutes ago. I'm still waiting for them. But might as well do a video on this since I'm in this situation. Um, the starter. <clears throat> I didn't think it was going to be the starter because I had the starter swapped out um, about a year and a half ago. Had the starter swapped out a year and a half ago. Bought a rebuilt starter from AutoZone for like one fifty, one seventy five, somewhere around there, and the car core charge was like thirty bucks. <sighs> I think that was it. Anyway, you know, I was thinking that I would get. A lot more usage out of the starter than what I have so far. If it is the starter, I'm not quite sure. I'm not 100%. I'm like 90%, 99% sure. Well, not 99%. Say like maybe like um, 80% sure that it is 
um, the starter that's the problem. So here's the situation. All right. Um, what the what the starter is a rebuilt starter, not a brand new starter. Um, I've had situations before where I bought rebuilt starters, rebuilt alternators. Um, you know, rebuilt stuff. If you guys don't know anything about rebuilt stuff, um, a lot, most of the times, all the times, probably when they fix when they um, fix the rebuilt starter, is they change up just that part of the of the starter or whatever it is alternator that's broken. They don't actually rebuild the whole entire. Um, they don't actually rebuild the whole entire, the whole entire thing. So you could have, you know, one component that's brand new on there, and then the rest of it has like 150,000 miles on it. The truth, the absolute truth. But even still, I didn't think that you know, it. it I I still don't know if it's a starter or not. I mean, it's hard for me to believe. I've only put on maybe like I don't know like fifteen thousand miles for a year and a half maybe maybe um, a year and a half fifteen thousand miles and uh, you know right now I'm sitting in my car and uh, I'm not going anywhere and I'm thinking it's a start now I could do a couple of tests on it I could try to I could try to like bump the starter just bump it. Um, and uh, if I have a long crowbar or something like that, bump it and then try to start it. See if I could get like one more start out of it. And if it does start up, <sighs> um, it's definitely the starter. But uh, I don't have that at the moment, and uh, I'm not gonna go out and do that. I, you know, I've done I've, I've done that before, but I don't want to do it in this situation. <laughs> um, the other thing is, I could probably you know get a put a wire to the solenoid. To uh, one of the sol- solenoid terminals, and uh, you know, see if the starter crank cranks up or not. But I'm waiting for triple A. I'm gonna wait for triple A. See, see how that works out. Um, kind of sucks. And uh, if it turns out to be the starter, this won't be the first time that I've had um, a rebuilt starter and uh, having it go out on me prematurely, like you know, within. Within two years, um, I've had an alternator that went out on me within six months. Rebuilt, rebuilt. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, OEM parts. Uh, probably should have just bought a uh, a uh, uh, a used starter from eBay OEM and, and pop it in. Probably would. I would probably be on on the road right now instead of making this video. But uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, Tripway is gonna be uh, here to tow my car. I'll let you guys know. Uh, what happened to my car? Hey guys, so all right, so my car is now working fine, and uh, you guys guessed it. If you guys guessed like me that it was the starter, and it was the starter, um, it was still under warranty. <laughs> Put it to AutoZone, you know, and. Uh, Man, I um, you know, I, I I did a little complaining, you know, to them about about the starter only lasted that long. They said it's under warranty. You get a brand new, you get well, not a brand new one. You get a uh, another rebuilt starter, but you know, it's free of charge. I'm like, no, that's not the point. The point is, I gotta spend time out of my day. I gotta spend time out of my day to put it in, take it out, put it in. Or if I was gonna pay for it, that would I would have to spend money out of my pocket to do it, you know? Paying a butt turned out to be the starter. Uh, it's not like it's not like the absolute worst situation in the world, but um, I'd rather not I would rather not have situations like these that's come up. It's just really a pain in the butt, and when I change a part on a car, I'm hoping that I get a certain amount of uh, usage out of it, and and I was thinking maybe a hundred thousand miles over, maybe like well over a hundred thousand miles. But guess what? They gave me another rebuilt starter, popped it in, it works. I've got a rebuilt starter in my car. The so I got a rebuilt starter in my car. All right, replaced it. Uh, Replace a rebuilt starter with another rebuilt starter. Sucks. And uh, what are you gonna do? I mean, I didn't want to spend. 
three hundred dollars instead of getting a, a replacement for free. I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars out of my pocket to get, um, you know, a, a brand new one. And even the brand new ones, I've heard, I've heard stories, situations where people bought brand new uh, s- stuff and and it goes out on them anyway. But anyway, I'm glad that that situation's resolved. Um, really pain in the butt, frustrating, aggravating. Stuff that I really, really wish uh, wouldn't happen, uh, but apparently it is what it is, kind of thing. But um, if you guys have any comments, please leave your comments in the comment section. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, guys. All right. Hope this has helped you out as far as your issues with your car. Hope you, you know, hope if you know if you do have this kind of situation, that is it, it uh, is as simple. No, not as simple, but it's not as, it's not worse than that. All right, guys, take care.